Going to talk to one of the Let's see what officials. Donald Trump has to say about it right now. He's on the phone. Of course, he's the co-owner of the Miss USA pageant and Miss Universe pageant. Good morning, Mr. Trump. How are you doing today? Good morning, George. You heard the charge. This is fixed. What is it true? It's totally ridiculous. Nobody has any idea. The 15 are chosen, and then we added one more picked by the audience. And then after that, it's up to the judges. They bring it down to 10. They bring it down to 5. Nobody knows anything. Ernst & Young doesn't even know until they tabulate. And it's absolutely ridiculous. Number one. And number two, we couldn't care less who it is. I mean, whoever it is, it is. What difference does it make? How about the broader charges that she makes, that, that, that the whole uh, contest is fraudulent, lacking in morals, and trashy? Well, what we're doing is we're going to be suing her now, because she made a charge, and she said that it was fixed, and now it's turning out that You're it wasn't sue her? fixed. Excuse me? You're going to sue her? Yeah, we're going to sue her, because she made a, you know, very false charge, and she knows it was a false charge. And, you know, she suffers from a thing called loser's remorse. She lost. And if you looked at her compared to the people that were in the top 15, you would understand why she's not in the top 15. And it's a very, very sad situation. I think that, frankly, she should apologize, but we will be uh, bringing a lawsuit against her. Oh, she's a pretty attractive woman, but I take your point that you're pretty angry about these charges. Well, we've never had anything like that. And if you think about it, she's really, uh, really knocking the judges and really knocking Ernst & Young. This is tabulated very, very quickly quietly and very, very secretly, and earn, only Ernst & Young, which is a big accounting firm, knows the result, and they only know the result after tabulation. Do you have any idea who this other contestant might be, who she talks about? She says she witnessed the other contestant reciting the names of the final five in order? Yes, my people said that they've already interviewed that person, and that person said it's not true. Oh, so you do know. You're, you're, com you're completely confident, then, that, there, that nothing is going to come from these charges. Oh, absolutely. Look, Ernst & Young is one of the great respected accounting firms. They do the tabulation. And it's not like we care who the final contestants are. I mean, whatever it is, it is. That's what it is. And you take the 16 and you go down to 10 to 5 and then you have a winner. And it's all tabulated. And by the way, the judges are all celebrities and they make their pick and that's the end of it. Can you tell us who that contestant is that you talked to? Uh, I would rather not say, but my people have already spoken to her, and they will be probably saying who it is. Okay, well, if, if you, we'd, we'd like that as soon as possible. One final question here. Uh, it, it does seem that this contestant may have also had an issue with the inclusion of transgender contestants, the transgender contestant uh, in, in the pageant this year. Do you have any regrets over that? I don't think that she uh, had an issue with that. I think her primary issue was that she lost and she's angry about losing. And frankly, in my opinion, I saw her for you know, barely a second. She didn't deserve to be in the top 15. <laughs> okay. And that got a reaction from our crew. The final word from Donald Trump this morning. Thanks for joining okay, us. Okay, thank you.